right, so here we are, a little further into the uh, heart of Chester County, Downingtown, PA, at uh, the uh, future site of Avalon Pasta Bistro. We're uh, starting our construction phase of the restaurant, which I'm a little nervous about. Um, we're uh, we're going to be taking the front of the restaurant and pulling up the entire lawn and adding a 700 uh, square foot uh, patio. It's going to be a beautiful uh, stamped concrete pattern. It's going to look like a slate, uh, like an old acid wash slate. Uh, we should be able to fit 40, 50 people uh, right out on Lancaster Avenue. So we're very excited about that. Something similar to, uh, to over in Westchester, our outside dining has kind of been our, our hidden gem. This one's going to be a little more forefront than, uh, than Westchester was. Um... In the front of the building we have two windows. Uh, we're going to be taking those windows out and cutting through the uh, 24 inch stone walls to put uh, doorways out onto the patio. Um, this will kind of have uh, two effects. One is going to make the front of the building look really nice and, and give it a great uh, exit onto the patio. Um, which brings me to one of the other problems that we're having in this building is the building is still laid out like a house, uh, so the rooms are very boxy and very small. You kind of feel congested in there. Uh, you know, some rooms only fit, you know, maybe 10, 12 people. So what we're doing is we're going to uh, take out um, the main wall in between the two rooms, uh, allowing for a more open um, floor plan. Uh, this is going to give a uh, varying degree of angles. Uh, for the seating, uh, we're going to have high seating on one area, we're going to have lower banquette seating in another area, and then just regular um, table seating in, in another area. Uh, so with the different degrees of angles and the wall being cut, it's going gonna, it's gonna to have some, some pretty cool views throughout the, uh, throughout the restaurant. We have a nice fireplace, which we're going to convert it back to work as a real wood-burning fireplace. Found some exposed brick behind it, so that's going to look uh, really nice. Um, the wall that we are taking down between the two dining rooms, uh, we're going to actually cut half of the wall away. And that is going to become kind of the center point of the whole entire dining room. So it's going to be two separate rooms. We're going to take the wall down, create one larger room, and in that middle section uh, where that wall is, we're going to create our cheese and charcuterie display. So it's going to be a big focal point in the dining room, both when you first uh, enter the restaurant, you're going to see it, and from any seat in the uh, restaurant, you're going to see it. We're adding in a large steel beam in the second, uh, in the uh, ceiling going into the second floor dining room uh, to secure the uh, second floor. And the reason that we're doing that is that um, we are putting in one entire room upstairs strictly for making the homemade pasta. So very excited about having this, something that I don't have at Avalon. So I hope you enjoyed the uh, tour of uh, the new Avalon Pasta Bistro building and uh, getting a little look at the demo side of it. While these guys uh, swing some hammers and knock down some walls, we're going to head back over to Westchester and uh, put together some tastings uh, and see how people respond to some of the items that we want to bring over here to uh, Downingtown's Pasta Bistro.